Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. And in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 100 and we are not going to use the number grid. Now first things first we're going to write down the symbols that are used to compare numbers. Do you recall what they are? There's this one, the arrow pointing to the left, and that means less than. You know this one equals, and we have the other, the arrow pointing the other way, which means greater than. So let's begin with our first example. And let's see how we're going to work through this. Now suppose you have these two numbers. You've got 74 and 81. So we've got 74 and 81. Now we're not going to use the number grid. One way to do this is simply to count from 0 onwards until you get to the number which comes first. That will be the smaller number. But that's going to take quite a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the tens and units. So let's label each of the numbers. For 74, the 4 is a unit. So let's put a U above that. The 7 is a 10. Now let's look at number 81. The 1, always the number on the right hand side, that's a unit. The 8 is a 10. So we have labeled both of the numbers. 74 and 81. Now when we are comparing numbers, what we do is we always look at the digit on the left hand side first. So let's do that. What we have here is we've got there are seven tens in 74 and there are eight tens in 81. So we're comparing the tens with the other tens. We're not looking at units at the moment, only the tens. So if we've got 7 tens in 74, 8 tens in 81, which number is smaller? Is it 7 or 8? Well, that's quite easy. It's 7. And just by doing that, we know which symbol to put here. It's this one. Don't forget, all we've looked at are the tens and the tens. We have not looked at the units at all. We don't need to, because the tens are different digits. 7 is smaller than 8. Therefore, the units can be any number. 74 is less than 81. Make sure that the arrow is pointing to the left. Sorry, pointing to the left, which is a smaller number. So that was quite easy, wasn't it? Right, let's look at one more. Now suppose you have this number here. You've got 86 and we have 59. Now again, you can count from 0 upwards, see which number comes first. But again, that's going to take quite a long time. So let's use the tens and the units. Now for number 86, there are 6 units and there are 8 tens. For 59, there are 9 units and there are 5 tens. Now when we are comparing numbers, we start on the left hand side, the largest digit. Which means that here we're going to look at tens. 86 has got 8 tens and 59 has got five tens. So we're comparing again the tens with the tens. So we've got eight tens and five tens. Which one do you think is larger and which one do you think is smaller? Let's make sure the arrow points towards a smaller one. So five is smaller than eight. So therefore it points that way. Now it doesn't matter what the units are. We're saying that 86 is larger, greater than 59. Now this digit here could have been 0 
this one could have remained 9, 80, the, because of the tens, the arrow will always point in this direction. It's always pointing at the smaller number. So the next time a teacher asks you a question saying, how do you compare the numbers 86 and 59? Just go straight to the tens. Straight to the tens. You've got 8 and you've got 5. So therefore 86 is greater than 59. Let's look at one more example. So now suppose we've got number 68 and 62. So 68 and 62, how do we compare those numbers? What symbol goes between them? Well again, let's label them. We've got units and tens. And for 62 we've got units and tens. Now the first thing we always do, as we said, is compare the digit on the left. So we've got the tens. And 68 has got six tens, 62 has got six tens. So we're comparing the tens with the tens. Now in this case, they are the same. Six tens and six tens. Now because they are the same, they are the same, we now have to look at the units. Now remember, in this example, A and example B, we didn't have to look at the units because the tens were different. And we came to our answer. In this scenario, question C, the tens are the same. So now we are going to look at the units. Now the number 68 has got 8 units. 62 has got 2 units. So now we're comparing the units with the units. We're comparing 8 with 2. Now we know that. If we're comparing 8 and 2, 8 is greater than 2. So this is the symbol that has to go there. So 68 is greater than 62. The arrow is pointing at the smaller number. So in this scenario, because the tens were the same, we had to go to the units. But we still came out with the right answer. 68 is greater than 62. So that is how we compare numbers up to 100 without the number grid and without pictures simply by looking at the tens and the units.